The fourth example in section 1.5 deals with exponents when you have a power to a power, such as this. Let's say I have x squared to the third power. What I have is I have a power inside the parentheses and a power outside the parentheses. Now let's remember and review what this means from example number one, the first video in this lesson. That three means that what's ever inside the parentheses, you need to multiply together three times. Well, what I have inside the parentheses is x squared. So I need to multiply that together three times. Well, we all know from properties of exponents, what I have now written and what I'm underlining, you add the powers to simplify. 2 plus 2 plus 2 makes x to the 6th power. And that is my final simplification. Well, if I have x squared in parentheses to the third power, what does that mean that you do with the 3 and the 2 to get the final simplification and the final answer? Instead of doing this step here that I'm crossing out, all you need to do is take 3 times 2, and you end up with the 6th power. So when you have a power, I'm going to uh, clear this whiteboard for you. When you have a power to a power, and the first power is inside the parentheses, you multiply the powers. Three times two. Okay, I'm going to draw a line. I'll leave that up on the whiteboard for you. And now, let's look at some examples. Let's look at example letter A. We are going to go with B to the fifth power, the whole thing divided by 2x, and then outside the parentheses, we are going to square it. Now, if we recall from our first example, the power outside the parentheses applies to everything on the inside of the parentheses. So therefore, let's deal with the numerator. What I just talked about up here, a power to a power, the 2, you multiply times the 5, and therefore, in the numerator, I will have b to the 10th power. That takes care of the top. The bottom. I have, first of all, I have a coefficient. I have a 2. Well, that 2 is inside the parentheses, so I need to square that as well. So we all know 2 squared is 4. And then the x is to the first power. Again, I have to do a power to a power, so I multiply, and I get x to the second power, and that would be the final simplification for this particular example. All right, let's look at another one. Let's say you have 2 outside the parentheses, 3x to the fifth inside the parentheses to the fourth power. All right, the question is, does the 4 apply to the 2? And the answer to that is no. So therefore, I'm just going to bring the 2 straight down. Now, inside the parentheses, the first thing I see is I have 3 to the first power and then the 4 on the outside. So that makes times 3 to the fourth power. And then... I have the x to the fifth to the fourth power. I'm going to times those exponents and get x to the twentieth. Finally, I'm going to times these numbers in the box together. Three to the fourth is 81 times two makes 162, and then the x to the twentieth power, and that would be my final simplification of the problem in part B. This is your problem, class. Three outside the parentheses. A, B to the fourth power, 
divided by x to the third power squared. Pause the video and work this one out on your own, please. Okay. The 3 is outside the parentheses. The 2 does not apply to it. The 3 comes down. Parentheses. A to the first power squared would make A squared. B to the fourth power squared would make b to the eighth, and that's in the numerator, and in the denominator, x to the third power squared would make x to the sixth, with parentheses. Now, you could leave it that way, or if you just wanted to put the 3 and attach it to the numerator, 3a squared b to the eighth divided by x to the sixth, that would probably be even be a better way to write the problem, and the answer without parentheses. So I hope that demonstrates power to a power for you and how to do these particular problems.